بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم اینڈ ویلکم ٹو دا انٹروڈکشن ٹو کمپیوٹنگ کورس ٹو ڈے از دا آن لائن لیکچر نمبر تھرٹین اینڈ دا ٹاپک دیٹ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس ان شاء اللہ از آپریٹنگ سسٹم سو ود دیٹ لیٹ اس فسٹ سی دا آبجیکٹوس اوور ویو سو ٹو ڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ایکسپلین دا پرپز آف این آپریٹنگ سسٹم and then we are going to describe the startup process and shutdown option on computers and mobile devices we are also going to study how an operating system provides a user interface manages programs manages memory and coordinate tasks uh, we are going to describe how an operating system enables user to configure devices establish an internet connection and monitor performance identify file man- file management and other tools included with an operating system along with ways to update operating system software so you do not have to worry about all these details because we are going to go step by step so with that uh, let us move to uh, the first uh, okay the objective that we are going to discuss in this uh, class we are going to uh, um, inshallah i'm going to explain how an operating system enables user to control a network or administrative admis administered security summarize the features of several desktop operating systems briefly describe various server operating system and summarize the features and uses of several mobile operating system so what is an operating system like you people are uh, hearing about operating system like mobile operating system computer operating system and other types of operating system so what is an operating system operating system in fact is a set of programs that coordinates all the activities among computer or mobile device hardware so you can see we have now android operating system iOS operating system Windows uh, 8 Windows 10 operating system then we have uh, Apple Macintosh operating system so all of, all of these are examples of operating system so what are the uh, main functions or task of operating system operating system allows us to start and shut down a computer or a mobile device provide a user interface it manages program it also manages memory it provides efficient memory management tasks it coordinates different tasks control different tasks uh, it configure devices monitor performance establish an internet connection provide a file management and other device or media related task updating operating system software control a network and administer and administer security so all are all of these are the functionality that the operating system uh, do it for us and that is why now it is very easy to use computer system or mobile system because all of the complexity all of the complex tasks are done for us by the operating system operating system is a large software it's a huge software there are a lot of programs lot of lot of sub programs um, that like uh, comes along with operating system or when you install the operating system but once again let me repeat the definition of operating system an operating system is a set of programs that coordinates all the activities among computer inside computer system like it manages all the devices like ram hard disk modem network card input output devices and it also produces coordination among all of these uh, computer devices the devices that are exter- externally use uh, in uh, in the uh, system unit or the input and the output devices so here you see that when you start operating system allows you to start and shut down a computer it provides you to secure your uh, device like you can enable password you can uh, add additional security constraint you can control a network you can connect your computer to the network or to the internet that that utility is also provided to you by the operating system 
operating system provides you a very friendly user interface that enables you to easily work with the computer system it manages program like you have a paint program a web browser a calculator or any other system or application software it manages memory it tells you how much memory is left and what are the risk and other security features you can uh, coordinate tasks and configure other, other devices you can install other devices uh, it monitor performance it shows you the performance of cpu the perf the uh, how much the hard disk is used how much ram is used uh, how much data is like used by the operating system or how much data is uh, like uh, how much data computer receives and sends to the uh, output to the outer world so i'm going to tell you an example of uh, how like the we we can monitor the performance if you if you click on all control delete the task manager appears and then you can see that this is this is the task manager screen where different softwares are running and um, the operating system is telling you that Camtasia recorder is uh, taking 18.1 uh, or whatever percent of CPU overall you are using 44 or whatever uh, percent of your CPU memory use is 32 percent and similarly disk network GPU graphical programming unit GPU engine power use power usage uh, statistic so all of the apps background processor hardware input output devices used are like shown to you by the operating system on this task manager if you go to this performance tab you can see that the usage the percentage of cpu use the memory use currently we are using 5.1 gigabytes of uh, the available ram and the total ram is around about 16 gb we have an ssd disk uh, currently a very low disk there is a very low disk use because all of the important data is shifted to the ram so that is why you should have a good ram and then we have this wi-fi telling us how many um, bits are uh, sending out of this computer and how many bits we are receiving in kilobytes or mbps or whatever and then we have the gpu use computer now is using around about 25 to 23 percent of gpu as well uh, so you, it, the operating system is also telling you about the network, the TNS connection type, your IPv6 address, IPv4 address, signal strength, the adapter name, and other uh, statistics. So it is very useful that you come and see this performance, so you get a better idea of what's happening at the background and how much processes are running at the background. So with that, let us go back to our program so uh, you can like uh, operating system provide file management and other tool where you can manage your file easily access them uh, insert them delete them uh, it allows you it provides you an interface where you can periodically update the, um, the different software or a operating system itself you can control a network so there is a lot of things that operating systems are doing there are a lot of tasks uh, and I mean every month or every year we see that an enhanced version of operating system that is because uh, we need more functionality uh, and we like we we want a, a very efficient computer system for that so for that um, every month and every year uh, operating system is upgraded by its developers okay so what are the operating system functions uh, starting computers and mobile devices so when you click on this power button on a desktop or power button on a smartphone or power button on a laptop so your computer gets started and at the background different instructions of operating systems uh, runs automatically that that enables other instruction to be uh, transferred to the RAM for further processing so if a computer or mobile device is off you press a power button to turn it on an operating system uh, includes various power option sleep mode save any open document running program or apps to ram turn off all unneeded function and then places the computer in a low power state so we have a sleep mode where 
uh, if you want to like keep your important programming running in the RAM so you can like uh, go for the sleep mode we also have a hibernate mode saves any open document and running program or apps to an internal hard drive before removing power from the computer or device so what is the advantages of hibernating computer like you when you uh, uh, again turn on your computer you will see that all the documents and all the apps that you were running are running on the computer system so you do not have to uh, run them again and again and you do not have to start them again and again uh, whereas you also have a sleep mode so it's depend upon your uh, preference or your priority uh, or whatever you want you can go for sleep mode you can go for hibernate mode or you can even completely shut down your computer system so an operating system also provides you a user interface so a user interface control how you enter data and instruction and how information is displayed on the screen so these are the different user interfaces uh, of the different devices so here you can see apple macintosh ios mobile phones uh, wristwatch and then you have tablets uh, nokia tab other types of tablet window operating system android operating system ui so the ui greatly affect the use of um, any computer system if you have a simple and efficient ui so more people will use it otherwise the complex ui uh, uh, will not be used by everyone so a user interface control how you enter data and instruction and how information is displayed on the screen with a graphical user interface also called gui or gui you interact with menus and visual images okay um, there are uh, other types of operating systems like disk operating system uh, so in command line interface like this this is a command line interface uh, as provided by dos or disk operating system a user types commands represented by short keywords or abbreviations or press special keys on a keyboard to enter data and instructions but these types of uh, os like dos are rarely nowadays used by uh, people because it is very difficult to enter data and to remember the different commands or shortcut keys or abbreviation etc so how an operating system handles program directly affects your productivity so if your operating system is efficient that will definitely increases your productivity and it will save a lot of your energy and time single there is a concept called single tasking and multitasking obviously multitasking is better we have some processes programs that run on foregrounds that you can see and there are some processes that runs on background that you are unable to see but the operating system is running it for you people we have single user and multi user operating system uh, i mean once again multi users are provides more functionality and multi user can use them so here you can see that uh, we have some background application so this is google map background application and calendar and different other uh, um, softwares running at the background and this is the foreground uh, application that you you are currently that the computer is currently displaying it to you and you are currently interacting with it so that is why it is called foreground application icons indicate background and foreground apps are running on the computer so these are different icons that indicate that these softwares also these application are also running whereas uh, the program running is displayed directly on your screen okay memory management an important task of operating system is the memory management memory management optimizes the use of the computer or devices internal memory so it is very important that operating system efficiently manage the memory um, the main memory or the ram because uh, an efficient algorithm will allow you people to run many program at once and many program can be loaded into the ram and running at the same time uh, uh, for you people so of course uh, it like 
allows you allows you to uh, interact or to work or to work with many softwares at a time virtual memory is a portion of a storage medium like hard disk functioning as additional ram so uh, how like how a computer might use a virtual memory so when you have uh, uh, when the computer system or when you run out of the ram so then the operating system uh, or the computer uses virtual memory so how a computer might use a virtual memory so this is your ram and in step one the operating system transfer the least recently used data and program instruction from ram to the hard drive because ram is needed for other functions because ram is limited this physical memory is limited so the least recently used data pages or instruction are moved or transferred to the hard disk in step number two so this is called swap out whereas the needed instruction uh, are transferred to the ram and this is called swap in and this is your hard drive and the virtual memory is here somewhere so in step number two the operating system transfer data and program instruction from the hard drive to ram when they are they are needed so when these programs are needed the needed programs are transferred to the ram so the least recently used our data are swapped out of the ram why because we have other important pages or processes or application to be run so that space on the hard disk act as a virtual memory for a cpu it is like cpu visualizes it or cpu deem that it is a part of ram whereas uh, in fact it is a part of hard drive okay the operating system determines the order in which tasks are tasks are processed so it is important to run um, the different application and to provide coordination among, among them so the order of task is and how they are processed are important so we have this server computer where uh, some operating system is running documents we printed stored in buffered on a storage media or in a memory so what does it do it store the document to be printed in the ram or in the storage media and then as document prints they are released from the buffer so buffer is any temporary memory so as these documents are printed they are released from the buffer so this is your laser printer but doc this window shows you the document being printed and the, uh, like when you give one print command so this this uh, that process gets the highest priority uh, but if you give, give more prints commands so they are put into a print queue where the operating system device how these tasks are going to be processed so the, they are going to be processed one by one so first these printed pages will be printed and then the rest of the pages will be printed in a sequence and in a disciplined manner so with to, uh, see the time okay so still we have some time so a driver is you can say uh, a small program that tells the operating system how to communicate with a specific device like you have a modem driver a scanner driver a printer driver a LAN card driver so it's a small software usually nowadays these drivers come along with the operating system so when you install these operating system these uh, drivers are also installed so all of the input and output devices needs driver so you have a driver for the mouse for the keyboard for the speakers for the printers similarly for the screen so they are essential um, but if uh, a driver is not available you then you have to install it plug and play automatically configure new new devices as you install and connect them so for example if you connect a usb memory stick or if you connect external uh, hard drive so computer will automatically detect it and this is called plug and play you plug it and computer start recognizing it and uh, configure the new device why how because uh, it install the driver for that uh, device on the runtime so this is your performance monitor in fact this is 
a screenshot from Apple Macintosh operating system performance monitor just as as you uh, as I have shown you uh, earlier is a program that assesses and reports information about various computer resources and devices so uh, let me tell you once again for us this uh, this is this task manager is a performance monitor so it tells us uh, the reports information about various comp various computer uh, the resources and devices so they are these are the different uh, applications that are running and these are the different internal devices that are used that are currently used and these are the background uh, applications or programs that are currently run by operating system so a lot of uh, activities are performed by operating system so once again a performance monitor is a program that assesses and reports information about various computer resources so computer resources can be input output device it can be software application software system software background software and devices um, so devices can be cpu it can be memory hard drive input and output devices modem LAN card etc so operating system typically typically provides a mean to establish internet connection so obviously one of the first thing that you people do nowadays is to connect to the internet so operating system allows you like it provides you an interface or a mean um, and tells you to enter necessary information in order to connect to the internet so usually you enter your connection provider or your network and then you enter the password and then um, you are connected to the internet so on my computer you can see that this is the internet connection it tells me that the network is network one two three and uh, you have the internet access okay uh, many programs including operating system include an automatic update features that regular regularly provides new feature or correction to program so at a time or like after a few days or months or year uh, the automatic updater will tell you that you need operating system updates or you need other application software of updates so you just click ok and if you have internet connection these are instantly uh, these updates are instantly uh, installed and you you are your computer is up to date so it is obviously good to update your computer to update to run this automatic update and to check that uh, your system is up to date so you can see here that uh, update samsung software update firmware uh, all all are all are uh, these are all the option on the samsung mobile that you can use and um, that you can press in order to update the required software okay operating system often provides user with a variety of tools uh, related to managing uh, a computer uh, devices and program so for example windows 10 operating system or macintosh op os operating systems are very power uh, popular and powerful operating system they uh, provide user with a variety of tools uh, related to managing computer uh, devices and its program so let me tell you that uh, for you people most of the time you people will be using window 10 operating system so window 10 operating system allows you to manage different files like you can create folder you can create files you can delete folder you can check their sizes you can search for a file you can search for a document you can view an image using a utility program that comes all along with our operating system there is a, an uninstaller there provided by the operating system that allows you people to un uninstall the uh, any software that you do not need uh, there is a utility called disk cleanup where unnecessary files are deleted and the files are put in a sequence or in an order uh, we have a utility called a disk defragmenter where uh, the different uh, sectors and the different tracks are once again uh, put into proper order for efficient disk uh, retrieve information retrieval uh, we have now uh, commonly screensaver 
this is also operating system utility that is shown to you whenever there is no activity being carried out on a computer system so we have file compression application pc maintenance maintenance application backup and restore application so all are the all are these are all the different utilities uh, that you can use but they are very like uh, useful you can use them like you can use file compression uh, if you are sending a huge file you can use this file compression utility to decrease the size size of file or you can uh, run the pc maintenance application or software to uh, figure out uh, the different uh, figure out about the different components of your personal computer you can back up your uh, operating system state or different files using backup and to restore utility program so some operating system are designed to work with a server on a network uh, these multi-user operating systems allows multiple users to share printer internet access um, the uh, uh, files and program a network administrator is a person that uses the server operating system to add and remove users computers and other devices configure the net network install software and administer network security so we have special types of operating system that normally runs on a server computer now server computer is a powerful computer that allows multiple user to work at one time um, for like sharing in or for sharing printer for sharing internet access access or for sharing files and programs and then there is a special technical person called network administrator that uses that operating system or server operate, operating system to add a which user uh, is allowed to use the system to remove user uh, to add different computer or other devices like printer other programs scanner etc or to allow which user can access the internet or which cannot uh, access the internet or to authenticate and authorize different uh, computer user for different hardware and software resources uh, the network administrator also configures the network install software and administer network security packages or software a user account enables a user to sign into or access resource on so this is like user account this is the username you can put your password here if you have and then you can get access to the computer or access resources on um, a network or a computer a username or a user id identifies a specific user a password is a private combination of characters associated with the username so you add the password in order to let not, not in order to not allow anyone to enter your computer and to allow only your own self to use a computer system like if you want to add additional security constraint on your computer system so these are the different types of operating system uh, you we have common uh, desktop operating system these are the different categories server and mobile operating system in desktop operating system the popular operating systems are windows xp7 windows 8 windows 10 i recommend you people not to use window 8 or window xp or window 7 uh, and to use only window 10 and to update it regularly we have operating system x the mac operating system unix linux and also the chrome operating system and then we have another category of servers called uh, another category of operating system called servers uh, that support multiple user we have windows servers mac os x server unix server and linux server and then of course you know about the mobile uh, type of operating system like google android apple ios window phones so these are the different categories or example of operating system a popular operating system so a desktop operating system is a complete operating system that works on desktop laptop on or on uh, some tablet so we have windows mac os macintosh operating system unix linux and chrome os the latest the la latest versions of window offers these features you use tiles to access apps include a desktop interface support 
for input via touch, mouse and keyboard. So the latest version of the Windows offer these different types of features. Uh, email app, calendar app, browser are included, photos, files, setting you can sync with the OneDrive, enhance security through antivirus program, firewall or and automatic updates. A Windows Store offer additional application for purchase. So if you want to have additional application so you can directly purchase it from the Windows Store just as you purchase or install different Android apps from the Play Store. So this is like a typical interface of uh, Windows operating system when it gets started. I think this is uh, Windows 8. So different types of application softwares like Internet Explorer, Windows Media Player are already installed. So we have other types of application like weather, store, travel, uh, news, finance, etc. The Macintosh operating system has earned a reputation for it for its ease of use. So the latest version is OS X. So this is a typical interface of Mac OS system. You have a close button closes the window, zoom button alternates window size, minimize button minimize the current window. So if you have this, uh, uh, like I know, uh, people do not uh, use uh, or they rarely use the Mac operating system in Pakistan. But uh, if you are using in future, you will see that it is very easy and very robust operating system uh, and very easy to work with. A Unix operating system is a multitasking operating system developed early in 1970. So it is a uh, server types of operating system. And similarly, uh, Linux is also uh, mainly used at server side. It is a popular multitasking Unix based operating system. Uh, we also have uh, Chrome OS. Uh, it's a Linux based operating system and designed to work primarily with web apps. So this is another type of operating system but once again uh, few people uh, uh, reuse these types of operating system so server operating system includes windows server ox server unix and linux uh, because they are server operating system so that is why they are used at the server side where they can entertain thousand even millions of users at a time the operating system on mobile devices and many and uh, consumer electronics is called mobile operating system and resides on the firmware such as the android operating system ios operating system and windows phone operating system so this is an example of android tablet and android phone where you have installed android os android is an open source linux based uh, mobile operating system designed by google for smartphone and for tablets similarly we have our ios uh, operating system developed by apple is a proprietary mobile operating system specifically made for Apple mobile devices. So this is an example of um, iOS uh, running on iOS tablet and iOS running on iOS phones. Windows phone developed by Microsoft is a, once again a proprietary mobile operating system that runs only on uh, uh, the Windows phone or on some specific smartphones. So uh, this is the uh, summary of today's lecture. We have uh, discussed the common functions of uh, most uh, popular operating system, um, uh, variety of desktop operating system. We discussed variety of desktop operating system, server operating system, and mobile operating system. Um, inshallah, we, we have time. We, we are going to continue our, uh, our discussion on um, operating system. Uh, let me check the time okay we are running out of time so if you have some question you can uh, like ask me on a google pro group or you can youtube it, youtube it or you can google it uh, i'll see you in the next lecture till then uh, take care and allah office